Tonight, a neighborhood and dedicated online community is mourning the loss of one of their own, a beloved wild turkey named Carl. You see him right there. He's a pretty big guy, but Kenosha police say a driver accidentally ran over the bird this afternoon. Fox 6's Sam Kramer joining us live tonight in Kenosha. And Sam, his death really having an impact on people there, huh? Yeah, hi there, Steph. For so many people, just seeing Carl, even if only for moments, was enough to brighten their entire day. We may never know why he chose this Forest Park neighborhood as his home, but we do know his neighbors here are already missing him. Over the last year or so, this wild turkey became the main attraction on Pershing Boulevard. Yet Carl wasn't afraid. He gobbled up the attention from those who came to see him. He was very majestic looking, very beautiful. You know, he knew how to strike a pose. Paulette Guerin knew Carl as well as anyone on this street. He'd visit her just about every day, so she started taking pictures and looking out for him. I considered him a neighbor. You know, someone asked me if I thought he was a pet, and I said no. He was a wild animal, and I respected that. I knew we didn't feed him. Neighbors created a Facebook group dedicated to Carl sightings and experiences. This lady's playing Ring Around the Rosie with Carl. Where Garen learned the news so many only feared before. The Kenosha Police Department said a driver struck and killed Carl Tuesday afternoon. I grabbed sweats and my coat and I ran out. And by the time I got outside, um, he was gone. And the news spread quickly. Brandon Kelling organized an impromptu celebration of life at Shenanigans, complete with a shot of wild turkey in honor of Carl. We wanted to do a tribute to Carl because Carl gave us a lot of good times. Back in Forest Park, Garen tells me she'll try to remember her feathered friend for what he brought to this city, like the community who's now mourning his loss. If Carl was the vehicle of bringing people together and to do things collectively and peacefully and in, with, with joy in their heart, then maybe that's the takeaway. And tonight, call it a makeshift memorial already underway here where he died. There's a cross laying in the grass. It says, rest in peace, King Carl. And Garen did tell me the driver that was involved in this accident. Again, it is an accident. That driver did stay on scene to help care for Carl's remains. We're live tonight in Kenosha. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. I have to say, you know, it's pretty sad for the community, but that shot of wild turkey, it's like you can still feel the burn from college, you know? <laughs> You know, yes, but uh, hey, it's enough to numb the pain for some. Great spin. I love that. <laughs> Sam Kramer reporting live for us tonight in Kenosha. Thanks, Sam.